let's talk about tea because it's the second most consumed beverage in the world right behind water there are three variations of tea green black and oolong they all actually come from the same plant what makes them different is how the leaves are dried the botanical name for the tea plant is the camellia sinensis the tea plant has actually been cultivated in china for over 5,000 years and it's set Emperor Shenong took the first sip of tea by chance in 2737 BC because it had accidentally like got swept into his boiling water by the wind and that's how tea was discovered. Tea is actually made from the young buds and the leaves of the plant. So fermenting the wilted leaves before it is dried is what actually makes black tea, while green tea leaves are just simply wilted before drying. And it's those different processing methods that actually change the profile of the tea and the medicinal property. Decaffeinated tea actually has the most medicinal properties, however, Caffeine and theophylline are actually what contribute to a tea helping with weight loss. Adding milk to tea actually can decrease the polyphenols in the tea. So the most medically effective way to brew tea is just simply with water. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about tea with me. That's what I love to share about along with other natural forms of healing. So follow along if you found this video fun. Fun, maybe not the right word, helpful maybe. <laughs>